All right, importing your model. If we go to Tool, Import, and Import Dragonfly, he's located now in the Tool Palette. If I click and drag him out while he's highlighted and click Edit, I now have the ability to edit him or rotate around him as soon as I click and drag in open space. So there's no use of the Alt key in this program. This thing at the bottom is big, so I'm going to hit light box and turn it off. So let me run through the 101s of things. Uh, this is a 3D object, and the minute I unclick edit, it's a 2D object. So now it's pixels. That means when I have edit unchecked, I can just keep drawing these dragonflies out over and over and over again. Okay? And the minute I click edit, the last one I drew is the one that rotates. Now, how do you get rid of all the other ones? Well, you just go up to layer and then clear. Double clicking scale over here brings it into focus. Also, he pivots a little weird. And why that is, is because his natural center from the bones is still there. So, what you could do here is go into transform and under here we have the ability to um, modify the pivot point on it okay so there's local okay I'm going to uncheck local and I'm going to set pivot point now I'm going to find out that it rotates more on the natural center of things Okay, and that's that's the one thing that really does hurt you if you don't start doing those steps. It feels kind of awkward, actually even painting on the object. So that'll help you out. Let's go in here and learn how to save an object. You save a tool by going over here to save tool, and now I can save it in my 1400 lesson file as Dragonfly. And the number one thing students usually do is go to Document and save. Don't do that. That saves the 2D representation. So let's um, do something. Let's go to Preferences, Initialize ZBrush, and hit Yes. This will default back to the normal state of ZBrush. And then I'm just going to show you how to load a tool rather than import. So here's your ZTL. It works just like your OBJ. And in fact, you click and drag it out and hit Edit. The only difference is it's centered now. Okay, so now that we have the 101 thing down on ZBrush as far as navigation, objects, saving objects, and re-importing objects, uh, I also want to touch base since I have time on UVs. So UVs, what I want to do is click 2048 under UV map. This is under your tool palette. Any palette can be launched and clicked and dragged over to the other side here so you can get a hold of it this little palette goes in and out so in case you don't see it. So I click 2048 and then I want to go into this plugin called UV Master and I've tested this ahead of time so I don't have to really get into all this stuff. This is all modeling tooth stuff so we're just going to cover the 101 things. Let's click unwrap and to test that out all you do is have to go to texture map and go new from UV map. You'll find that here it unwrapped the model totally for you. You didn't have to do any prep work whatsoever for it. Okay, and that's a great thing. It's a very great thing. Some of the times though um, you might find that it it did it but did it do it efficiently. Take this for example, if I click 1024 and then unwrap and then I say new from UV map, you might get a different one altogether. Notice how these are now closer together. So sometimes it's to get the full resolution, you can do a 1024 instead of a 2048. Since you're kind of new to this, um, I'm going to take advantage of a 2048 map. So I'm going to click 2048. Again, 
go into Z plug plugins and unwrap the model. And then I'm just going to check the spacing and sure enough there's a little bit more spacing there. Good. Now I can turn this texture off. I don't need it right now. That's just a way of testing out the UVs to make sure it unwrapped quite well. And in the next video we're going to be looking at painting on the object. Okay, so please meet me in the next video.